Hey, so I just wanted to wish all the mothers a happy Mother's Day. And um, I guess all the fathers for making us mothers. <laughs> and um, it was, it's been a while since I've done a video blog and um, it's been a really rough week. And, it, you know, it's it's been hard since Rob has been gone, but um, we've been okay. It's just, you know, we've been having a lot of stuff go on with Christopher. And um, he developed this yeast infection. And um, it's, it's really been causing him a lot of issues. So, um, we are going back to the gluten-free, casein-free diet for the boys in hopes that it would bring them some relief. And maybe see some changes. So, today, I was invited to this indoor play place and um, you know I have to be honest we don't normally go to places like that because it's just too much and but I I think that, well, I don't think, I know that I need to put them in situations that may not be 100% in their comfort zone. I know that. Unfortunately, it's easy to say It's not so easy to carry through, <clears throat> especially if you're by yourself and you really, you really don't know what to do. Um, so I had been preparing Christopher all morning for this, you know, to go to this place. And Max didn't, you know, he doesn't really understand. So, I, I mean, I just, I, I, he was there when I was saying it, but. So, we got there, and um, I. You know, I, I wanted him to bring something of his, a toy of his, just in case he was overwhelmed. He could, you know, sit off by himself. And, um, you know, we got up to the front door and he, he saw that there was a bounce house inside. And he's terrified. He's absolutely terrified of bounce houses terrified of, you know, wacky, waving, inflatable tube men, um, and, you know, like all the inflatable uh, Christmas ornaments that people put on their lawns. Um, so, he, he, um, ran, he ran in the opposite direction. Max ran in and um, my girlfriend took Max. Max went in. Max was like, no problem. You know, this is cool. I want to go in the bounce house. I want to climb the rock wall. He thought it was awesome. Um, of course, he doesn't verbalize any of it. And he doesn't look at anybody and he's not, you know, being social, but he thought it was kick ass and I'm going to, you know, hang out here. So, but, you know, you're one person and you've got 
one kid went this way, the other kid went the other way, you know, tore ass back to the truck. And, um, and I knew, I'm like, this is not going to work. And I went out to the truck and I tried. And then he's like laying on the asphalt. It's like 92 degrees and my kid is laying on the asphalt in the parking lot. Um, and he's huge, you know, and I can't, I mean, I'm not going to pick him up and drag him in there. So I, you know, he's in the parking lot and I, I had to go in and I had to go get Max and I had to leave. Um, and you know, I don't, I don't think we as parents, I don't think we try to isolate ourselves, but I do think that it happens to an extent. I think that even families with similar situations um, aren't, you know, it's, it's not that we don't want to hang out. It's not that it's not something that we want to do. We do. Trust us. We do. We want like a life outside of, you know, the flapping, the jumping, the spinning, the rocking, the poop, the naked, you know, we want something other than that. Um, it doesn't always mesh with other families. It doesn't always mesh with society. Um, but you know, we do the best that we can. Uh, it, I have just chosen to do the best that I can because there's really nothing else, there's nothing else to do. I used to get really upset. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I cried. I left the play place crying today. I cried, you know, I got to my truck, my girlfriend called me, you know. I I was crying to her. I then called, um, I called Afghanistan and cried to my husband, you know. I, I don't, I'm not gonna lie, I cry, I cry a lot. It's not, um, it's not easy and it's not always fun but but it's it's my path and I will walk it with these boys forever there is a reason that they're with me I don't always know what it is there are nights when they won't sleep and I beg, I beg for them to go to sleep and they're aggressive and sometimes they hurt me and um, and I, I just sometimes want them to just, you know, just be kids. And then I, I have to remind myself that they are just kids. They may not be, you know, somebody else's idea of kids, but they're my kids. And they made me a mom. All four of these kids mean the world to me and I couldn't think of any other person that I would rather be I, I just I, I, ra I, I want to be their mom and I will continue to fight for everything that they need I have
gone this far <laughs> and I'm gonna keep on fighting so happy Mother's Day and um, have a great day